So that was our story of Peter. So Peter walking on water. Um, I kind of love the story of Peter walking on water because it seems so far-fetched. Like, have you ever tried to walk on water? Like, I was watching a video the other day of a guy walking on a frozen lake. And he was doing so well until he got to a point where the ice wasn't very thick. And then it started to break. And that's really dangerous. Like, just heads up, guys. I know it's been a bit snowy and a bit cold. Never, ever go running on a frozen lake or a frozen river because it's really dangerous. So this guy was running out there and it started to break and eventually plop in the water. Thankfully, he had some friends close by so they could pull him out. But that's why it's not safe because you can get stuck and then the ice can come over you and all that stuff. But Peter's out on the lake and Jesus comes over walking on water and Peter gets out the boat and walks towards Jesus. But as soon as Peter takes his eyes off Jesus, he starts to sink. And eventually Jesus reaches out and says, Peter, trust me, and lifts him back up the water and they're able to walk on water and they walk back into the boat. And it's, a, it's an amazing lesson where Peter really learns physically how to trust Jesus in these moments. Now, I don't think any of us are gonna have the privilege of walking on water with Jesus. Um, but it's kind of the example of learning that is in a really difficult times, it's so much easier to do things when we trust in Jesus and when we trust that he's got us to help us carry us through these difficult situations. And that leads us great into part two of our challenge where Vicky's going to show us how we can balance a paperclip on water. So Vicky, over to you. After listening to the story of Peter, what can we learn about that paperclip we were trying to float? Well, just as we found it impossible to float the paperclip, Peter found it impossible to walk on water without Jesus. By ourselves, we can't do the impossible. But if we put our trust in God, we can do anything that he asks of us. So if we take another paperclip and we open it up to represent Jesus, and we rest our paperclip, Take another paper clip. And we rest our paper clip just on the top of it. Let's lean on God, just like this resting paper clip, because God can make the impossible possible. Ta da! Thanks, Vicky, for doing that challenge. Uh, guys, please send me pictures if you guys have done it. If you're able to do it, send me a video because that would be awesome to show you guys next week. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can do it because it looks really hard. Like, paper clips are heavy and made of metal. They shouldn't float. But when you've got another one helping it and kind of like that science-y stuff, you know, breaking the surface tension, all that stuff, my mind, poof. but trusting others to help us and carry us makes things so much easy, you know, and that's the whole thing about trusting God in the midst of everything that we're going through. So that's our story for today. Um, our memory verse, remember, it's Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, uh, submit to him and he will make your path straight. And so today we've got a song all about our memory verse. So uh, we're going to listen to that now. And it's quite an upbeat, cool song. And hopefully it helps us to remember our memory verse. So let's go watch that. And then we'll come back and have game time. So let's watch our memory verse together now. <laughs> 